Let's get some practice identifying equivalent expressions. So I have an expression written here in yellow, and then I have two more written in this light green color. And I want you to pause this video and see if you can figure out which of these expressions, and it's possible that neither of them are, which of these are equivalent to the one in yellow. So I'm assuming you've had a go at it. So the way I like to tackle these is just to simplify all of them as much as possible. So this one up here is clearly not that simplified. So let's distribute this two. So if I distribute the two, what does it become? This is equal to two times negative six c is negative 12c. Two times positive three is positive six. And then we have plus four c, plus four c. And then we can simplify it further because I have both of these terms that involve c. I have negative 12c plus 4c. So what's that going to be? Negative 12 of something plus 4 of something is going to be negative 8 of that something. So this is going to be equal to negative 8c. So these two blue terms, when I add them, I'm going to get negative 8c. And then finally, plus 6. Plus 6. Now, just doing that, that's exactly what this first green expression is. So this one is definitely this one is definitely going to be equivalent. Now what about this one down here? Well, to figure that out, let's simplify it. So let's distribute the three. Three times negative four c is negative 12 c. Three times positive two is positive six. So plus six, and we have the plus four c over there. It's looking good. So, and then we can add the terms that involve c. Negative 12 c and four c. You add those together, you're going to get negative 8c, negative 8c plus 6, plus 6, which is, which is exactly what these other ones are. So all of these, all of these expressions are actually equivalent. This one, that one, and that one. Let's do another example. And just like the last time, pause the video and see which of these two expressions, it could be both of them, or it could be none of them, or it could be one of them, which, which of them, if any, are equivalent to this yellow expression. All right, let's do it together. And like before, let's just simplify it. So the first thing my brain wants to do is let's take the terms involving n and add those together. So negative 6 of something, in this case n, plus 4 of that something, in that case n. So negative 6n plus 4n, that's going to leave you with negative 2 of that something. You add the coefficients. Negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2n's. So we have negative 2n. And then plus negative 12, that's the same thing as just minus 12. So minus, minus 12. So I simplified our original expression. Let's see these ones, these, these down here. So if I distribute the 4. If I distribute the 4, I get 4 times n is 4n. And then 4 times negative 3 is minus 12. And then we are going to subtract 6n. So minus 6n. So what does this give us? We get, we get another color here. So we have 4n. I'm adding all the terms with n. Minus 6n. That's going to give us negative 2n. And then we have the minus 12. And then we have the minus 12. So this expression, when I simplify it, got me the exact same place as the first expression. So these two, these two are equivalent. This is equivalent to that. Now let's check this one out. So two, let me just distribute, let me just distribute the two. Two times two n is four n, and then two times negative six is negative twelve. So this simplified to four n minus twelve, which is clearly different than negative two n minus twelve. So this one. This one is not the same as the other two.